He comes back looking like the inside of a chimney. The shard works like a charm. You can hear the monument's heartbeat again. Seems the gods recommended this place to all their friends. We're all a little short on friends these days, so that's a welcome sight. They said the wild could never be tamed. If only they could see us now. Wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of those. The toughest thing about using that gas can is keeping a grip on it. That thing wasn't always meant to be a weapon, but there's no denying it now. We spotted a pecker carrying a shard to Mount Zan. Can't rightly call Mount Zan a mountain anymore. There's no more mountains now. There's no place left for the beasts of the wild to go. So they figure they'll hold out right here on a slab of mountain the Calamity forgot. We only found their little lair because they found themselves a little shard. The creatures of the wild, they've been building a bastion of their own. Best thing we can do for those beasts right now is put them down quick and clean. There's only one kind of mercy left these days. It's a delicate situation. Look at it this way, it's either them or us. But if we win, they win too. Our bastion is everybody's game, not just ours. Unfortunately, there's no explaining that to a simple beast. It takes a lot of convincing. And our mortars have to do the talking. Those beasts been hard at work fixing up the place. They've rounded up their survivors, just like we have. They've been searching for cores and shards, just like we have.
Maybe they've thought about turning back, just like we have. We just really need their shard. That's the way. He's done what's best for him, don't you worry. Don't you worry. We'll all be better off once the Bastion is complete. The monument's getting better. Zolf sure did a number on it, though. We need an awful big lost and found under the circumstances. something from my days on the front. Finders keepers. The culture. A still life of old unwanted keepsakes. If you're feeling low, Count on the buttery flavor of our own Bastion bourbon. song can put things in perspective. Fix that thing right up, didn't we? Made these goings on a little livelier. just in time to sample Zia's famous cooking. Just a couple shards left. The quarry's gotta have one, right? Imagine everything you'd need to build a city like Ceylandia. It takes hard work and planning, and it also takes Burstone Quarry. The Ura tunnels beneath the quarry must have softened the blow from the calamity. We bought the whole place from the Ura on the cheap. Same goes for its natives. Rattletails. Why would the Ura put up with those pests? Rattletails ain't the worst of it either, but more about that in a little bit. The quarry came with a lifetime supply of windbags. Windbags smaller than the naked eye can see are nesting in the rocks. Huh? 
Not only are these rocks a source of life, we found that the oldest ones remember things. They're recording everything, all the time, taking it all in. No wonder all those beasts were drawn to the quarry. The rocks were calling them. Keeping the quarry free from the pest turned out to be a problem. Rattletails kept tunneling in to snack on windbags. Even stink eyes started taking root in here. Now why would the Ura sell off such a fascinating place? The Ura always were a superstitious lot. Might be the gods told them the quarry's bad news. Lights on in the entire city district. The smaller ones, we call them shards. The shards got a fraction of core's power, enough to fuel a voyage to the motherland. Remember how I said Rattletails ain't the worst thing in the quarry? That honor goes to a beast we took to Colin, Sir Lunky. Massive things stomp many of our boys. We just couldn't get rid of him. We never could get stubborn old Lunky to leave the quarry alone. The only thing harder than the rocks and burst in the quarry is Sir Lunky's head. Then the kid hears a voice calling from down the hall. Are you all right? It says. the way it is, he says, then I won't stop you. Because my countrymen will. The next part's hard to talk about, no matter how many times I try.
Say what you will about Zolf, but he's a man of his word. His countrymen don't much care for pleasantries, though. Showed him the way here, and here they came to take revenge. They got inside the bastion and shut the door. Kids gotta go in through the back. To make matters worse, seems the Ura took the girl. Unfortunately, they broke in, and they started digging their hole. Something wrong sprung out of those holes, and it's eaten away at this place. We tried to stop it, but we needed him. The Burra think they got him. They're wrong. Somehow, some way, he sends those who are packing. Problem is, it didn't matter. Zolf's plan worked. We find each other as the dust settles. Then I tell him why the Ura came. To get us back, for the calamity. It was Ceylandia's master plan to wipe the Ura out. But part of that plan backfired, didn't it? If only Zolf knew the whole story. What were we to think? They must have got her, taken her back to her rightful home. The shards can put this disease in remission, but there's only one cure. We need to finish what we started. The memorial may be finished, but our part is far from over. Now all we need is one last shard. Bull brandy is thicker than paint. Makes your skin feel as tough as knife bark. Take my word for it. Don't ever drop one of those. The Armada sure could have used one of these back in the day. Think the gods are gonna help? You don't always care for fancy guns and things. A bow and pike will do just fine. The Ura swooped down from the east. At least now we know the way. The Breakers used to come here for target practice. We used to play a little game. See who could bust the most targets in the fewest shots. He's focused. He's armed, and he's off. Perfect shot just happens in a flash.
I almost don't believe it when he says he passed the Breaker's challenge. One last shard. It's all we need to put this mess behind us. And mother, what a mess it is. A mess like that could have only been made by hand. Zolf said the calamity failed, and he's right. The Earth stand is living proof of that. against that problem. Scientists, soldiers, spies, even me. We sought solutions far beyond the city. We traveled near as far as the kids going right now. devised a way to seal the Ura tunnel shut in a flash. Just like that, every last Ura living in the Tassel terminals will be gone. This discovery was never to be used, they said, except as a last resort. Ben didn't like being manipulated. He had plans of his own. He sabotaged the Mancer's little science project, set it to blow up in their faces. Imagine how Van must have felt when they finally made him pull that trigger. It's true. 
strange. Feels like I told this part a thousand times. First things first, though. There's someone we figured needed rescuing. See ya. The Hura fell back. No doubt planning the next move. But we knew ours already. There's something we had to do before going after that last shard. Well, now it's personal, ain't it? It's personal for him, and it's personal for me. They never saw him coming. He gets his hands on the care package I sent him. It's a little something I've been fixing up in my spare time. Lara found a way to keep the calamity from spreading through Sultan's Hollow. They got their own security and everything. Pretty fancy, even. Still, they ain't used to having visitors around. They've got these conductors that are always keeping the place together. are squared away in the middle of the hollow. They're 
Always hit targets. Those calamity rocks must be eating that place apart from the inside. Turns their greeting tenfold. Most of the Earth's conductors are squared away in the middle of the hollow. They're easy targets. The Earth keep hanging on to that barricade. After all, their homeland's not much farther. They underestimated us. Had us pegged all wrong. Yes, our people caused the calamity, but here we are trying to fix it. That makes us different from our people now, don't it? Did the Ura really think we'd just turn around and walk away? Some of them are downright bewildered by what's happening. It's not the time to get reckless. Suppose old Zolf should have got to know us better. Suppose old Zolf should have got to know us better. Maybe I should have trusted him, told him everything I knew. Desperate, they are to bring out their big guns. There's nothing standing in his way no more. He sees the Tazzle terminals loom large on the horizon.
when this is all over, it'll all be water under the bridge. Way out there on the edge of the world, that's where he finally finds you. But it ain't like Prosper Bluff this time. Ain't nothing for this gal to sing about now. Zia, you weren't kidnapped. No, ma'am. You just had to see what happened to the Ura. To your own people. You had to see if everything Zolf wrote to you was true. Sure you didn't drop that twangy thing on purpose, just to see if he'd go after you. They lost everything, didn't they? But they just keep on fighting like that's gonna bring it all back. Looks like a little science project is all set. Party punch is so zesty, it'll let you carry on through the worst of times. The brushers, they moved in shadows, but the calamity found them. It wasn't fixed, it was unbroken. I don't need to see what happened to the Ura. I'm trying to undo it, remember? 